Hello, hello. Welcome back to the podcast. It's your girl, Cammie Crawford. And today, <laughs> I am with the mother I never had, the sister anyone would want. Wait. Teffy! Hello. Content creator hello. and host, Teffy. Mm-hmm. We are kindred spirits. We are. We're water signs. We're water signs. Mm-hmm. It's the Scorpio Cancer connection. Yes. Yes. And my mom's a Scorpio. I know you better than you And know I yourself. knew that. Mm-hmm. Because, okay, there's so many things. Mm-hmm. Obviously, TikTok, that's right. how I became familiar with mm-hmm. your work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was obsessed from the beginning because you just connect with people mm-hmm. in such a way. I was literally talking to your team about it as if they don't know you more mm-hmm. than I do because mm-hmm. I only know you through the internet mm-hmm. but I feel like you make everyone feel like they are your best friend that's crazy Be- I can't believe that people say that because I've never gone through more best friend breakups this past year <gasps> and when people say like oh um I wish you were my big sister my brother and my sister are like please I'm like you guys are so lucky <laughs> okay wait because my sisters are you mm-hmm. a- the eldest I'm the eldest same mm-hmm. and yeah. you have two siblings I have two siblings yes. I have five younger sisters See, imagine. I, no, I imagine can't imagine. Me. Well, my sister's a big, big tomboy. So we never, oh. ever shared clothes or like she would wear like my juicy couture tops to the gym. Don't get me started. Stop. Laura. Stop. So Did like, she ask? Of course, not. of course not. But she uh, and then I have a brother. So I never had that. Like, like I would watch the Kardashians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would share clothes and like makeup. And I'd be like, that's so weird. Like, I've never been like, where's yeah. my sweater? Yeah. Now my mom and I share clothes, but my mom dresses better than me. If oh. you tell her I said that. <laughs> I'm sending her this clip like, immediately. She will, so, but, like, I'll go. We we shop at the same brands. Oh, I oh, love that. So nice. I love that. She's like, can I borrow your meow? And I'm like, if I get your A, Goldie. Yeah, yeah. Like, we. And you have, trip. like, a swap. Like, mm-hmm. you, you sign paperwork. But growing up, no. She had no interest in, like. Abercrombie yeah you right know what I of mean? course of course so when I talk to people and they're like I wish I was I wish you were my big sibling I'm like oh it's because you would be my little you'd be my like hyper femme little sister yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, my sister doesn't want any advice from me yeah no you're like she's, these bitches don't appreciate yeah. me in my own house that's she's how like, I feel uh what tire should I get from my motorcycle and I'm like be fucking for real stop yeah I'm like no oh my god wait that's mm-hmm. incredible I feel like all my sisters are I mean we're kind of all exactly the same but just way different because we're all varying signs so like I'm a Scorpio mm-hmm. next sister's an Aquarius <gasps> next sister's a Pisces fighting mm-hmm. for her life fighting for her life. next sister's an Aries fighting everyone then the youngest two are Sag twins Sag sun and Sag rising Oh dear! I, I probably see him at the afters all the time. Yeah. yeah, no, literally, literally, it's so chaotic. But we're all so close. But we, at this point now, I'm at the place where I'm stealing their clothes. Yeah, because they're way. I mean, they just have better fashion sense. Yeah, they're just cooler. Like there's a at my PR team. There's a girl, Shaylee, and she's younger than me. Like she's like what 23. Right. And Gen before Z. I do anything, I'm like, is this cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I post this? She's I, like, you yeah. are cool. I'm like, how fucking uncool is it? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. If you're telling me straight. to believe in myself. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me straight. Fuck. No, I you know? get it. I but get yeah, it. I love TikTok. I, um, I'm always like, I want to be a person who has a TikTok, not a person on TikTok. So I'm yeah. always trying to figure out ways to like expand. But I could never leave. It's like my hometown. Yeah. You know no, 1000%. I, mean? I could you never. Like your community there. And yeah. I myself have fought for you on tiktok i've seen i'm a crazy <laughs> fucking nut i am so when it comes to people that i love yeah, and i it. fuck with i don't care if i've never met you if i fuck with you nobody better talk shit about you yeah or say it's true scorpio vibes. no very much very much and i don't even remember what happened it was something with the vintage store somebody i know exactly what it was so like, i went shit. vintage shopping in paris i know exactly what it was <laughs> Uh, I went because I, I think about it all the time. There, there's one. Com- there can be thousands of comments, and there's yes. one comment it's where always I'm like, the one negative. One. It's not even like negative. It's like so. It's like, did you pull a muscle? Yeah. Reaching for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a vintage shop in Paris that a friend, a few friends of mine had gone had like talked about, and I've always gone like thrift shopping, but I've never gone like consignment shopping, which mm-hmm. is like elevated uh, yeah like different a, level a vintage um jpg a dior yeah. whatever and i went to this shop and i don't want to buy new stuff anymore 
I don't say that I don't. I said I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, if I do, it's against my will. Yes. So I got this like Dior blazer or like this Roberto Cavalli dress or something. And I was showing TikTok about it. And I said, and I said, I don't know how to say like thrifting, like vintage thrifting. I don't know what that word is. And somebody commented, it sounds like you're taking clothes, like secondary hand clothes from people that can't afford that. You know what I mean? Like they said that I was like basically stealing from people the less fortunate. And I said, I didn't want to be like this sweater cost me 600 bucks. Yeah. What the I less said fortunate was, are not shopping. They're here not shopping there today. I'm not going to like the Salvation Army and being yes. like two dollar shirts. Yes. Like, you know, and what also I mean? if you were, that's what the fuck they're there for. They get new shirts every day. But you know what I mean? Like they, they like I'm not going to the Catholic Church bin. Yeah. And being like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know? I'll take these. this one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And so I responded. I said, that's not what I'm doing, baby. And you were like, that's, that's not what the fuck she's doing. doing. You stupid doing. bitch. And that I was got me. the notification. <laughs> no, no. Somebody sent me the video <laughs> and was like, oh, my God. Kemi Crawford loves you. And I was like, I love. And then I saw the video and I was like, that's my motherfucker. Sister. Okay, period. And I've never five I, sisters, six. Literally. <laughs> had never actually made face to face contact with you in my entire life. But I ride for you. Heavy. I think it's like also, I think Scorpios are kind of like the big sisters of the water sign. Like we will fucking kill anyone. Yeah. Like you'll be like putting on the ski mask. Yeah. Being like, but also like, I can't believe I'm in this position. Yes. You should have used your mind. Yes. Wear gloves. We can't have our fingerprints on this. You know what I mean? Like that's I will be mom. there at 730. Like my mom is like, I snitched on you. Yeah. You have to go to prison. What you did is fucked up. Yes. I will be visiting you every day and you'll never have to ask for commissary. Yes. Like that's like my mom. I've know? got your back. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I, I, my issue, and I feel like you probably experience this all the time because you post a lot, obviously, mm -hmm. but like people who come for unproblematic people, what in the depths of your dark, nasty, mm -hmm. riddled with mm -hmm. hate mm -hmm. soul would make you want to get on the fucking internet and like bother somebody who is just like mm -hmm. unbothered mm -hmm. and, and kind and sweet and good to everyone? I... No one will forget that you bullied people. Yeah. As much as you want to be a good person in my comments, it's not going to make up for what you did. Yeah. And that's what I think of. Yeah. Like, if this is your catharsis. Yes. To comment on me being like, I'm wearing my camouflage pants with my new top. For yeah. you to be like, this person's a bad person. I'm like, whatever it is that you did. Yeah. You should go to church. Yeah. Oh, I Co thought you were going to say go to hell because that's go what to I was hell. <laughs> you should do not walk, <laughs> run to Jesus. Yes. He's waiting yes. for you. There are there's yes. one set of footprints in the sand yeah. because he is carrying you through this. Yeah. Not me. His arms are open. But you know, I make a video or every six months or so saying, I just want to remind everybody, I am not Barney. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I am not an amazing person. Like I'm not this like angel from God. Like I am a big sister. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I am a person that like grew up in Miami in like toxic Y2K era. You yes. know, like I did do the special <laughs> K cereal diet. Like I can't remember anything. I learned because my soul's focus was a thigh gap like yes. I am like you know but I try to tell people what it felt like to fuck up so that you don't fuck up mm -hmm. like I did like I tell people like I know what it's like to be cheated on but I also know what it's like to lie to your partner and it feels like shit don't do it yeah you know yeah and then people are like I sleep fine at night and I'm like well that's okay. weird no well, that's you but <laughs> yeah. on the other hand me well like I kissed a boy I had a boyfriend <laughs> when I was like 19 and he was like cheating on me like he was paid to do it. He was clocking in 9 a.m. every morning. And I remember I kissed somebody else after I found out he slept with somebody. And I mm. still couldn't sleep. Like, I was like, oh, my God. And when we broke up, I still, like, had it. And I, like, felt that. And I remember I told my mom about it. And my mom was like, bad people don't feel bad. And you that's know? a fact. Bad people don't feel bad. And I was like, okay, well, I think also the term like bad people, you know, like I don't think if you cheat on your boyfriend, you're also like torturing animals. Like mm. I don't equate the two, but obviously I think it says more about my character that I want to make up for that. Or that's like, that feels terrible mm -hmm. versus me being like, well, fuck you. Yeah. You know, like you did this. So I did this. You know what I mean? Right. I don't believe an eye for an eye. 
because I think um, well, what makes well, one of us. I'm talking about, well, I think for me, I would <laughs> like one of my friends one day. Her and her ex broke up, and he cheated on her relentlessly, and she fucked one of his homeboys. Oh no, no, no And no, I was no. like, no, no, well, no. If, that, if that did it for you, if you can close that chapter, you don't owe that man anything. I'm not here to judge you. For me, I just would not never dedicate a fuck to another man. Yeah, that's just yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't make me better than you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. if that's what you needed. Doesn't matter. We don't owe him anything. Yeah, you know. So I'm not. I also try to come on TikTok from a place of like I am not holier than thou. Mm -hmm. Like I remember one time this girl asked me a question and I responded to it, and she was like, "I'm in love with a married man and I feel like he likes me. Do I go for it?" He tells me he's so unhappy, and the easy route would say, "You're such a terrible person. What about the other girl?" Uh -huh. That's the easy route. You know what I mean? I re I remember I responded to it from a point of I'm going to talk to you like I'm your girl. Mm -hmm. Like we don't know these girls. You like you're my bitch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're my middle school BFF. We've had sleepovers our whole lives. Yeah. And I would tell you being the paranoid woman is a jail sentence for the rest of your life. Mm. He's going to go to work mm -hmm. and you're going to wonder mm -hmm. if he is connecting with another person telling her he's miserable. Yeah. And right. it's not fucking worth it. Like right. one eye open every time he turns that corner, you're going to know that dick has no boundaries, no limits. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't think it's worth your peace that way. And people right. were mad at me and be like, what about her? I'm like, I don't know her. This person's in my comment right. section. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I guess I, could, I try to do it from that place. And I think people are just looking all the time to be like, how can I be the best person I am online, but not in the real world? Yeah. And that shit doesn't, like, please. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have to be fucking human beings at the end of the I day. I would like to be a human being, and I'm trying to do the best I can, but I don't, I don't want to be, like, an actress either. Right, yeah. I am, yeah. I do want to be an actress, yeah. so if you are, if you are casting for anything. <laughs> like, let me be intentional about my words. Very yeah. water side. Yeah, very water side. Let me just, as I put, yes. as I put that out there, I would love to be cast in something. Yes. You know? That's next. I would like to not be a maid or, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Some, a struggling immigrant. No. Anything else would be fantastic. Yeah. But in my real life, I th I would like to say I stand by what I said or yeah. I learned from what I said. Right. You know? Well, I think you can be a two things human at being. Once. Two things at once. Yeah. A human being, a girl's girl, and also say things like what you said on Shan Boudram's podcast, which resonated the fuck with me. I love her so much. I love her so much. There are not even words to describe. She's been on the podcast several times. I love her. Obsessed love her, love with her. her. But you were talking about how in a relationship that you were in, you were cheated on and mm -hmm. you told your partner you took something away from my me. community, my community mm -hmm. about how, you know, being you, we're all like, mm -hmm. I'm a girl's girl, too. Mm -hmm. But I dealt with someone that gave me the same feeling. Can you just mm -hmm. explain? Because I'm not yeah. going to get it of right. Of course. I think um, I've always been a girl's girl. My mom growing up, she said the ugliest thing you could do is be jealous of another woman mm. and bad banks. And that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I argue bad, bad highlights too, but yes, you know, yeah. that's, uh, that's something that really stuck with me. So when I found myself in a really toxic place where I could, I didn't know where to place blame yeah, because the person I was with was struggling with substance abuse mm. and I had never dealt with that before. I'm blessed enough that in my family, no one's ever struggled with that before, or if they have, they haven't put us through it, mm -hmm. you know? So I was like, I can't be mad at this person later on. I found, <laughs> I Reasons found the anger. Mad, yeah. Yes, I found <laughs> yeah. the anger. Yeah. But at the time, I was in a place where I had always been independent. Like, of course, a little codependency is like welcome. I think that's important in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go out and be with your boys, I never had a problem with it. Yeah. Until you gave me a problem with it. Yeah. And I would meet new people and I'd meet beautiful girls, smart girls, funny girls who wanted to be my friend. And I didn't want to introduce them to my partner. Mm. And mm -hmm. I was like, how is it that um, the love of my life is getting in the way of wonderful women that want to be in my life? Yeah. That probably have no inkling of yeah. why. They don't even I'm, know this man. They don't even know this man, but they have no inkling why I'm like this with them. Maybe yeah. a little bit because I'm scared. Instead of meeting new people with open arms and wanting to build the this community, this chain link of women around me that used to defend me mm. as an armor now this armor was like hurting me like mm. so i looked at him and i said you've instilled like the seed of paranoia in me where i could be building relationships with these women and 
lean on them and instead you've made me paranoid of my community where are you his type yeah would he like you yeah would he follow you would he be in your dms would he send you hard eyes and all this stuff so now i have to not only learn to trust you again but i saw your messages and now i have to re relearn how to trust women again mm. you know mm -hmm. so when i first when me and this person broke up I was in I, I was in a public space already, and I saw messages where they said, "If you and Teffy break up, let me know." And they were women who followed what? me. What? So I would screenshot it and send it to my phone, look up the name. But this is when I was like, when you're hurt, you're like in a manic state. Yeah, I would yeah, never yeah, do yeah, that yeah. today. Yeah. But you're like, you're like drooling, angry. Yeah. Like foaming at the mouth, angry. And I remember I would check their username and go to messages and i would see all of these messages of support you guys are beautiful together yes girl we love seeing latin women no 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 and i responded and mm. i sent the message and being like you're a trifling ass ugly bucked tooth bitch i remember being you like you sent it to them yeah i was like you're <gasps> an orthodontist surgeon's nightmare like i remember being like <laughs> that's I was the kind of carrying so on i'm into <laughs> angry i was so angry yeah. to the point where i was like i don't even care if they post this on like reddit i don't care if they no 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 like all yeah. this shit I don't care if they remember me this way. I don't care if they tell people about this because at the end of the day, they have to say, why did she send that to you? Mm -hmm. And you have to say, because I went to her ex's DMs yeah. and said, you are so fucking fine. I would love to go out with you. Let me know if you and Tevi ever break up. How fucking dare you? No, murder. You know? Absolute murder. And I still remember like their names sometimes and I take it away and I'm like, they never expected one for me to see that, two yeah. for that to ever affect me, three for him to ever see that, yeah. you know? So I think that's something where the my breakups have always, I think I've had like three major breakups and those three major breakups like rocked me, but mm. they have never rocked me the way that I viewed women. Mm -hmm. One of my ex relationships, mm -hmm. he did cheat on me, but these were women that I knew in real life and they didn't affect me. Like they were just like girls that I kind of knew they didn't owe me anything and yeah, whatever. I was able to like let that go. And a few of them I was friends with later because I was like, college was crazy. Right. You know, like yeah. for me to talk to you, like you were when you were 21 is crazy. Like yeah. if I'm 33 and I'm like, well, you were mean to me at prom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think you're the one with the problem. It yeah. Might be well, me. I still say fuck those bitches that I bullied me in the third There's grade. There's cruelty that people were mean to me about, but like if you kissed my high school boyfriend at a yeah, party. Yeah, we're going to let that one Hey, out. I think I've powered through. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I think I'm good. I think yeah, I'm good. I, I wouldn't even I've look healed. twice at him I think I've healed, today. you know what I mean? But yeah. like this was this was the only time in my life where I'm like, oh, um, I a strain, like a, what's it called when somebody has ulterior motives. Yeah. Like I would meet somebody and whatever like i understand yeah. now why people have the same friends for like 10 12 13 oh, yeah. years and no one knew you know no i'm i'm that person my best friends are my best friends yeah. since middle school Me too, high yeah. school because I, you just even telling that story, it triggers something. It triggered something yeah. in me. That, that sucks. So every woman, every that woman too, is like, that was one girl. Yes. One of my best friends right now. She asked this girl, like, I see you in my man's DMs, and we went to her apartment after the club, and she was in bed with her boyfriend. Fuck you. Yeah. When you I know see who you, you are. On yeah, site, bitch. When I see you, I'm doing nothing because <laughs> you are not even deserving. <laughs> Please. What? Yeah, whatever. And it was a girl who was in the DMs. Yeah, and when I walked out, I took her toothbrush that she does her edges with. So enjoy work looking fluffy. Yeah, exactly. Fuck That's you. like me, my yeah, cruelty. Yeah. That's like the most. Me, I'm like, <laughs> stab her with it. I also um, took your blush brush. <laughs> Unblended ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck blending now. I never said I was Barney. I never said I was an angel. <laughs> but that's like shit that I do. Like, did you jump her? I'm like, worse. Yeah. <laughs> I, took I took her, her edge Amazon brush. blush brush. <laughs> Bitch. Took her real techniques. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You, bitch. Makeup forever, makeup for never. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. am thinking of, and I'm trying to tell this story because mm -hmm. I've never talked about this one here. Mm -hmm. but I'm trying to tell the story without giving specifics. But that's someone, all I did right now. I was like, and yeah. then she, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to say their name? Mm -hmm. Someone that is very, very close to me. Very close to me. Okay. Freakishly close to me. Mm -hmm. Their best friend. Mm -hmm found my ex mm -hmm. on a dating app oh that's well my ex was on tinder premium imagine paying for <laughs> yeah no 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 yeah mm -hmm. so what happened was we were already broken up at this point mm -hmm. but she found him on the dating app and she swiped on him oh 
Yeah. Prison system. American prison system. Abolish pr- prison reform, et cetera, et cetera. But not for you. Hi- these rabid hyenas. <laughs> not for you. These rabid. No. If she's the only one in jail, I'm okay. Electric chair. Chair. Immediately. Mm-hmm. She swipes on him. To say what? To say what? Hello? Her friend, who also, mind you, these, this, this is someone who is connected to someone who is freakishly Logic close to me. Logic and reason does not live here. Freakishly close to me. Knows. Knows. Absolutely. Everything. People you who know. are not freakishly close to you know. People who have never seen you at all know. If you have the internet, if you have a cell phone line, if and you if have you a fax don't, machine. If you don't worry about your bill, not my man. Exactly. What? Thank you. The, f- the friend of this person who swiped on him also swiped on him. Same app. I don't understand. When confronted, they said it was for a joke. Who laughed? Did anyone in this room laugh? Well, people are laughing. Well, <laughs> but, <laughs> people are who laughing. Laughed? Everybody's laughing at me. Well, well, it sounds like the joke was on me. The joke was on me. They said it, they thought that it would be funny if they matched with him. How would that be funny? It's not that you thought it would be funny. It was that you were trying to see how close in proximity you could get to being a bad bitch like me. You just wanted like to me. see if what wants me wants you. And it don't. And you know what? It seems like and even if everybody. It did, it even like- if it did, I let that shit go. I see him lesser because he likes you. I'll say this. I'll say one thing about people I've dated when they're like, when they try to step out with another bitch or try to get me jealous. I'm like, yeah. get me jealous. You already got me used to it. I'm already used to seeing you with another bitch. You have no idea what I sound like when I want to fuck somebody. I know what you sound like, and they don't even answer you. The gag is. The gag is is that they're not even together anymore. If you did touch beepies, you're welcome. If you did end up together, how are you going to tell people you met? Through who? Love to hear that story. Would love to be sitting at the wedding hearing that story. Pass me the mic. Can't wait. Actually, the mic. I got something to say. Yeah. <laughs> Can oh, you shit. imagine? How, the ox is out. Oh, shit. How'd yeah. that happen? So <laughs> crazy. Did you know Tinder premium is twelve ninety nine a month and the man did not pay for one utility bill? Can you imagine? The crowd goes. <gasps> uh, no, do you know what? I'll never forget. I told my ex once. And I remember he came home at like five in the morning, six, and just like cockeyed like so fucked up mm, mm-hmm. and i was there you know in my recliner turned the light on eye yeah. mask on yeah you know Where what i mean fuck have you been yeah full full thing one thing two islands of adventure pajamas from 2009 like just <laughs> matching set and um i turned it on and i was like i have two rules and he was like what <laughs> what yeah i want to go sleep i'm like oh, okay <laughs> we're not sleeping tonight <laughs> please and not the Wake way that the you fuck think up. yeah yeah, not the way that you're you about think. to go to an internal mm-hmm. rest. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I hope you enjoy prison. Yeah, no, <laughs> not jail. Prison. Penitentiary. Penitentiary. Uh, uh, I remember I said I have two rules. You can't cheat on me, and you have to be home by at least four a.m. And he stomped one foot down and said, "This is a prison." I swear to God. What was his sign? I can't say. He was Aquarius. He was an Aquarius. Man. So it doesn't matter. You're a man. It's like, it doesn't matter what's yeah, no, you're a terrible matter. person. It really doesn't matter, actually. But um, <laughs> Pisces, a moon, cancer, rising. Vicious. Pisces, Venus. Vicious. I know. Sometimes I check his... So he has, he's a cancer rising and I'm a cancer sun. So sometimes when I check my um, horoscope, it's like, good things ahead. I go, let me dive deeper into the yeah, chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, good go time. Deeper. <laughs> Enjoy Pluto. Yeah, literally. You know, please, so... But that's the thing about like dating that I find so interesting is in the beginning when they're like, like, for example, one of my friends says that her ex calls her a nag. And I was like, well, first of all, I was there for all of it. You weren't a nag. He just changed and you you stayed the same. So Mm -hmm. you're asking, hey, could you do this like you used used to to or like, yeah, you always used to help me with this or do this or like, can we split this chore, that chore, whatever? And he changed. Yeah. 
So it's like, is it nagging or is it a lack of consistency? Right. And I know nags and that's like their love language and their men fucking eat it up. They love that yeah. shit. They love being needed. They love being nagged on. There are some men that like love that shit. Yeah. And that's called a mother wound. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, and that is called, you know, mommy issues. For me, yeah. I'm in a point in my life where I'm so used to immature men where I have to teach you how to love you mm. that I'm working through therapy right now where I'm like, if an emotionally, if a fine ass emotionally available man looked me in the face and said, let's do this. I would say, uh, no, because if I can't be the one teaching you things mm. or leading you or being possibly the worst thing that you could ever lose, I don't know where my place is. Do you have Virgo in your chart? Yes. I'm a Virgo rising. There I'm a go. Beyonce rising. That's the same. Yeah. Literally same. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, of I course. Wanna, I got to fucking, yeah, this is my project. What do you mean? It's already done. Like project. What are we supposed to do? Also like the idea of someone like, of a man looking, looking at me and putting me in my place is not hot and sexy for me. Mm. It's not hot and sexy for me. Like mm -hmm. I would like to be somehow of a mother, mm. but not enough where I feel like you're my son. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I want to be like the ma the matriarch. Yeah. I want to do that. But I grew up in a house where, do you, do you have both parents yeah. married? Well, my biological father left. And mm -hmm. I feel like in those relationships, your parents are gonna, aren't going to tell you all like the trials and tribulations because it's not your business you're a right. fucking kid like it's yeah. not your business and it's theirs and they're working it out for me i grew up in a house where like there was no one to tell my mom no mm -hmm. that was the law mm -hmm. my mom always used to say like fidel castro's and a terrible person but in esta casa yo soy fidel oh like i'm period. a dictator yeah here. yeah but like uh in a relationship when a man tells me no i'm like this i'm like Yo soy Fidel. <laughs> Yo soy Fidel. <laughs> Which is a terrible <laughs> analogy, but it's just the idea of just like, yeah. do or die, bitch. Yeah. Like you're, oh, you don't want to, you, you, uh, 930 is too um, early for you to come home. Guess what? It's 830 now. And you know, We're moving so, it up. Yeah, that's it. Lights out. <laughs> Yesterday's price yeah. is not today's price yeah. in blood. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like with, with, uh, with dating, it's like, when a man is like, um, no, I actually don't want to go to that with you and your friends. <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> <laughs> you hate my guts. Put on those ugly little shorts. Yeah. <laughs> let's and let's fucking, get the go. fucking go. The L train is running 12 minutes late, so you've got 10 more minutes. Let's fucking go. Don't you ever. Stop. You know? But this is something we're working through. I'm working through it, yeah. And I th feel like I'm pretty reasonable, too. But to a degree where, like, I never want to look at a man and be like, you owe me because I sacrificed so much of my pride for you. Mm. Like it's one thing to humiliate me privately, mm -hmm. but things like apps, it's like TikTok. It's like a blinking radar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a submarine radar. You thought nobody in Bushwick, Brooklyn was going to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have eyes everywhere. I tell everyone that. Please. And if there's something to find out, <laughs> when I tell you my intuition will wake me up in the middle of the night. Have you ever had a dream that woke you up in the middle of the night about something that a man was doing behind your back? I did last night. I did last night. And I'm not even dating anybody, but I feel like sometimes I can feel when people are not thinking of me, but mm. but like calling me or like not mm -hmm. thinking of me. Like, I wonder how Teffy's doing, but being like, where is she? Mm -hmm. Why won't you talk to me? Like all this stuff. And I feel that all the time. Yeah. And last night I had a dream where... I saw somebody that I dated and they were trying to tell me like, I'm so sorry I wasn't ready. And I was like, this is none of my business. Yeah. Yeah. Stop making it my business because I'm already trying to like put my, not love, but like my attention aside from this because it did hurt my feelings. And I think in real life, I never said this really hurt my feelings. Yeah. Yeah. The most vicious thing I've ever told an ex is the last time we spoke. I said, for the rest of, for the rest of your life, when you're on top of a bitch, you have to wonder if she follows me. Did <laughs> I did I lie? And guess what? <clears throat> she does. 
your next bitch loves me. <gasps> like, you know what I mean? But that's the thing, like, that's that's something that I try to do. Like, I never try to linger. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. I, I, as a kid, if you're if you're in your early 20s and you're like, oh, I did the back and forth thing. Of course you did. Yeah, you have yeah, to learn yeah. why you're it sucks. To. Right, yeah. You have to learn why you shouldn't do that. I right. completely understand when like, people are like, I feel so weak going back and forth. I'm like, baby, you're 22 years old. Yeah. What do you, you want? The wisdom of Meryl? All you got is time. That's it. Time Enjoy. is on your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for me, I'm like, no, no, no. I have things that I want to do and the things that I want to see and things I want to enjoy. And I cannot, the road that I'm on, I cannot move forward with one eye on the road and one eye on what you're swiping on. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no way. Nobody has fucking time for that. Why is Burger King FaceTiming no. you? <laughs> also, put in an order. I'm hungry. <laughs> like, don't be selfish. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's it. so when I had this dream of this person being like, I'm so sorry. Like, I just want to tell you, like, I was just not ready. I was like, stop. Yeah. It yes. is none of my business. Yes. The only thing I have left is gossip and sleep. And here you are. <laughs> and here you show up. But don't you love when the dream version of you sets boundaries? Oh, yeah. You're because not welcome here. Sometimes I had a dream like that recently, too, mm -hmm. where I set boundaries with someone. It was the same kind of thing. They came to me and they were like, I've done everything wrong. Like, I want to do things right. Like, can and I'm like, no, bitch, get the fuck out. Of Why are you here? What? Who let this? Why are you here? Why are you here? I mean, a color me mine. It's Nobody's supposed to be here. Nobody's supposed to be here. <laughs> Why the fuck How are you in this house? Did you? <laughs> I'm like, turn on the lights. Wake me up. No. I'm not trying to be in here with you. So I'm li I, I literally look. Well, he was like, we were like on vacation. We were on a beach somewhere. Great. Now like, a bitch can't even go to a dream yeah. beach. Great. <laughs> Sick. Can't even be in a little bikini. I'm like, why alone. Am I? <laughs> great. I can't even enjoy being in a bikini. Yeah. The male gaze follows me everywhere. Literally. God forbid. My friends are like, but you seem so confident. I'm like, you don't think I walk to the ocean with my hand over my ass? Stop. Like this. Like, no. like a butler. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or like I pretend to talk to somebody that's still on the other side and I'm walking backwards. Give me a fucking break. Stop. But even in my dream, I can't walk fully charged to the in a thong to the yeah. ocean. Here you go. Without you following I'm me. I'm just so sorry I wasn't ready for you. I wasn't ready for this. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was ready for a Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Beachside. And a man in a Speedo with some grapes. Damn. Damn. I'm like, Mauricio, leave us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and give me another pina colada. <laughs> Stat. For free. That's I don't have funny. any money in the dream world. Oh, no. For real. But that's the thing about <laughs> so that intuition that I was born with was also like um, a blessing and a curse because when yeah. I was younger... I was like, am I being paranoid? Mm -hmm. And is it the little like inner child in me being like, I'm scared. Yeah. You should be scared. I don't want to get hurt again. Or is it like my intuition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess what it was? Intuition. My intuition. I call her intuition. I call her, I call her Titi. She's my, she's my Titi. She's my best friend. It's my aunt. <laughs> it's my aunt. She's my best friend. But no, it's a real thing. I mm -hmm. feel like when more people start trusting that, you can eliminate a lot of shitty people from your life because it'll tell you everything you how do you when i meet someone i immediately know if we're going to vibe or not 1 trillion percent and if i and if if we're not vibing Bitch, I make it my mission. We are yeah. gonna vibe. If but it's then we're never gonna speak again. Never. It's too much. I'm, I get into the car. I'm exhausted. It's all work. It's I'm just work. I need an IV. I've, I've networked this entire moment. No, no, no. Uh, I, I was um, last night going to the People's Choice Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You looked amazing. Oh, thank you so As much. always. That's all I want to look like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Oh, and you shot with Nezrin, who's my fucking I I'm love, obsessed with her. I love her so obsessed much. She's, she's such best. a good vibe. She's so witty. She's so yeah. quick. She's so smart. She's an Aries. And that's the thing. Like, I have developed, like, even Asky, hey, so, but like, even, like, my team, like, they always say, like, you have such a good, like, little squad. I'm like, that has been curated for years yes. now, you yes. know? Like, I know yes. immediately. And when it comes to like going to events like that last night, when you're like around other people who do similar things that you do. Yeah. Oh my God, bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the reality stars are always funny though. They're always so funny. Who'd you meet? I don't want to say who, but they, they're on a show called Fander Fum Foof. Oh, Fander Fum Foof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I watch it every week. Yeah. On and Bravo. They're, they're so, they're so nice. <laughs> Never fum Fandaball, please. Never. Never fum. Never fum Fandaball. Either fum. But <laughs> I, no fums. No, no, please get the fuck away no from me. Fums. If you come into my dreams, I swear to God. I swear to God. But I, <laughs> He's going to come with a microphone singing I'm gonna a rock song. I'm going to say orca whales right now. Orca whales right now. <laughs> Bring in the orcas. Bring in the orcas. 
<laughs> this thing okay. on. Please release the bears. <laughs> but, um, but all the girls from there are always so nice yeah. and so kind. But sometimes other influencers that I mean, I don't know if it's their personality or they've been burned. So if, if you live in L.A., I understand. But um, people who live in New York, I think those influencers are a little bit more like, hey, bitch, want to do yeah. ketamine? I'm like, not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, very Sorry, like, Sally. Free. I'm busy. Yeah, no. Yeah, I got sorry. Early I want to leave some for the horses. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Um, but, the, but in LA, it's very much like, hello. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's weird. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, you're in LA yeah. for the weekend? What are you here for? Yeah. Oh, um, you're not going to this event? No, I'm actually, oh. um, I'm taking over for Gal Gadot and Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm doing. Very busy. Mm-hmm. Very, what Very are busy. you doing? Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I can t- I can see how like testy people are in this town, you know? Yeah. So when I go to events like that, like even yesterday, I'm like, is it me that you don't like or you just have given up on people like me? It has nothing to do with you. Their yeah. faces are frozen from all the filler and Botox. And so is mine. And so is mine. It's <laughs> <was> like... <laughs> <laughs> the other day, for like a, so a for a, a self casting, there in the in the script it said, it said so and so frowns. I looked at the camera and said, I can't do that so for you right now. What kind of frown? It, uh, like my lips? <laughs> no. And also for the fucking record, because I know some bitch is gonna mm-hmm. cop up in my comments and be like, he said you didn't get filler. I only have Botox for now. Oh, I'm filled the fuck up. I got feel <laughs> like look, a tank. Look, 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 okay. Like a gas station. Uh-huh. I'm on period. full. But it looks um, so fucking good. I have here, here, and here. It and then I so have good. Botox all here. I do leave my um crow, crow lines. What is it? Crow's crow's feet. They say crow's feet, but it's not. Yeah, it's They're just really like from mean. smiling, from being a happy person. I leave Sorry. my eye smiles yeah. on just a little bit more because I do want to like, if I lose my doll eye, like the, <laughs> I'd be so upset. <laughs> Um, but everything else, like I get like Botox uh, down my nose too for the, I can't do the genie in a bottle. The, the Yeah, I can't do that anymore. I used to. I get baby Botox, 16 units. You, I don't even know how many units. I go, whatever it was, <laughs> yesterday's Botox Fill it up. <laughs> is not today's Botox. We're going up. Like my friend Davis is like, oh, Teppy, shut up. Like I complained about something. I was like, I'm so tired. I'm always so puffy. He's like, shut up. You're like the face of youth. And I was like. Thank you. I was like, I'm, I'm about to be the face of newbornism. Yes, when literally. I, when I see Dr. Hollis next. Lit- Dr. Hollis. Rapid fire. Rapid fire motion. Who is your favorite celebrity couple of all time? Can be toxic. Me and Bella Hadid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spread those rumors like wildfire. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. They're my favorite. I will also say Denzel and Pauletta. Oh, yes. But, however, Uh-oh. I understand the sacrifice Pauletta had to make because she was a world-class pianist and also an incredible actress. I didn't know that. She does not get her flowers. She is incredible. I'm going to do a series on her. She is she is a God-given talent, and she helped. She decided to put that aside and help her husband grow. And I, th- I don't think I'm capable of that sacrifice. Mm. I think I'm too selfish for that. And he's so fine. I don't want anybody. Denzel, you seen. are dumb fine, but you would be nobody without Pauletta. And, exactly. I, and I will never let you forget it. And he knows that too. Yeah. What I love about you is that you know all of the celebrity pop culture facts from every single year that I don't, people obviously appreciate it, but I don't know if they appreciate it as much as I do. I was a lonely child. <laughs> What was he going to do? Help Laura with her motorcycle? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I had no one to relate to. I had to Literally. watch. I had to read J14 magazine. Mm-hmm. I was at New York Fashion Week last week and I literally sat through a whole show. Beautiful show. Amazing show. Mm-hmm. Nothing against the show. But all I could focus on was there was a girl across the room that looked exactly like Brooke Hogan. Oh. And when the show ended, the girl who was sitting next to me, who I'm cool with, I was like, is that Brooke Hogan? She was said, it? No. Unfortunately not. She was like, Cammy, you did not say a word to me this entire show. And now the show concludes. And the only thing that you say, the first thing out of your mouth is, is that Brooke Hogan? I said, well, yes. Well, yes. Well, last night, they, uh, Natasha Benningfield performed Unwritten and nobody I, got up. Nobody got up. I had to tell Davis because Davis Burleson is 21. So he was born post Towers. He thinks the airport always has security. It's insane to me. What? And then we, was, we used to be able to smell grits in there. used to be able to walk up to the gate yeah. and my wish mom your loved ones goodbye. Ross got on the plane to get Rachel. <laughs> Ross got on the plane to get Rachel. Hey. 
Today, no, no fly list. No fly list. Ross would no. never see Immediately, Paris. Immediately, no. Ross couldn't go to Detroit. No. But so they played Unwritten and everybody around was like, oh. And I'm like, what are you guys? Davis has never seen Coyote Ugly or A Princess Bride. We have fallen so far from Grace. I said, why wouldn't you tell me when every time I say inconceivable to you that you didn't know what I was saying? <laughs> inconceivable. Why wouldn't you have explained this to say, me before? You, I, he, was, I, he was like, I just thought you were saying it funny. And I am. Touche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But but that, yeah. It's a bit. It's a, it's from the... I think 2000 Maxim, like, hottest, like, hot 100. Like, I think it was either Jessica Alba or, like, Lindsay Lohan. And I don't know why it's, like, ingrained in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know? think it was Jessica Alba. God damn it. It had to have been. Honey. She follows Whoa. me on Instagram and I... <gasps> she follows me on TikTok. Every time I post something, I'm like, this is it. I'm losing her. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> This is it. You're like, for sure, this is it. This is it for her. You know who's mine? Ariana Grande follows me, and I feel like I am genuinely on my toes, on my P's and Q's. Because one wrong post, she what? might be gone. The, one wrong post, but uh, you could do no wrong. For me, I'm like, you know what? Thanks. <laughs> this poem is kind of bomb. Yeah. <laughs> like, post. Jessica's going to love this one. The, I know. Jennifer Garner does too, and I love I love Stop. JG. I love JG What's her so sign? much. She's a good, Aries? lovely, wholesome, loving woman. She's a Hufflepuff. That's what I do in my mind, too. If I don't know your sign, I know your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's That's a Hufflepuff. The most important. And I'm also a Hufflepuff. The most important part. You know? I asked, well, mm -hmm. we, we, because mm -hmm. it's more than I. Mm -hmm. It's a community. It's a community. Mm -hmm. We are a team. We are a village. Um, we asked our listeners, our besties, who their favorite celebrity couples are of all time. Okay. Someone said Freddie Prince Jr. and Sarah Michelle Geller. I'm a Buffy fanatic. Oh, they're still job. together. They're still together. They're going. They're not. He's obsessed up. with her. No, it's done. He's, uh, but you, you did know, a deep dive on them too, didn't you? No, you it's on like ice. A, it's on. Oh, it's on ice. I have a lot of stuff on ice, but I'm just like, I got, I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. I get it. Well, because it takes a lot out of you. The Whitney and Bobby one. I was. I told. Oh, I said in the series when I was on the plane next to Bobby Brown. And I got off the plane and I told my mom, I sat next to Bobby Brown. She goes, oh, I love her makeup. I yeah. said, no, not <laughs> Absolutely that. not. Not. That's not. <laughs> Absolutely not that. Wait, I wanted mm -hmm. to comment this under that mm -hmm. because I had a story, but it was too long to fit into the comments. I hate when they do that. When I'm in the middle of dragging somebody and it says character, I'm like, oh my God. I have to tell Teffy this story. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Bobby Christina, God rest her soul. <sighs> And Whitney were staying at the same hotel that my family was staying at in Jamaica when I was like seven years old. And Bobby, Christina, and I had like a night swim. <gasps> that is iconic. At the Ritz Carlton in Jamaica. Poor Montego baby. Bay. She did not. And I remember specifically asking her, Where's your mom? <laughs> she was like, She's sleeping. Can you imagine? She wasn't sleeping. That She wasn't sleeping. She was out. She was definitely out she on the town. She was out. But. I remember going back to the room because it was like late and waking my parents up and being like, Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina are among us at this hotel. They walk among us. Never saw them again. Oh my God. But my, I feel like that was like the One of my friends of my life. went to tennis camp with two black girls Who? in Florida. And later- Wait, wait. Oh, uh, yes, obviously. What? I was like- you mean, she goes, yes. And we used to go to her competitions, like their competitions. And we used to sit with their dad and cheer them on in Florida. Just Venus and Serena. Can you believe? Just V and Sir. <laughs> Just my two besties, V and Sir. I went to the uh, the Vogue World runway. You know how Serena yeah, opened yeah. it in New York? And I, I remember when she walked by, she was in this gold dress. And I said, oh, my God. And I remember she went like this. And I was like, you look, I love you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's fucking like, amazing. Literally. Wait, oh my god wait these are a lot of deep cuts mm -hmm. from like the back of my brain when i was like 14 my family we had a house in florida in palm beach gardens it, the community that we lived in was across from another community that venus and serena had a house in and one time we were at the nail salon which is like the only nail salon in yeah. palm beach gardens mm -hmm. it was at the time when serena was dating common <laughs> That man has ran through. And 1,000%. <laughs> but he's a fine ball black man. Those freckles I get me every time. It. I love it. Don't you bat those eyes at me. <laughs> I love it. And I remember vividly. Am I going to get sued? Mm -mm, no. For being fine? Allegedly. For saying a man is fine? Oh, allegedly. allegedly. We were at the nail salon, and I'm like getting my teenage nails done. Mm -hmm. And I see them, and I see Common go into the bathroom. 
and Serena follows him. Into the they bathroom. did sexy time. They did nail time, sexy time. And he was like, oh my God, like, what are you doing? It was like a little moment. And then they closed the door and we're never heard from again. We're never heard from again. Allegedly. They never left that bathroom. Allegedly. What do you think they were doing in there? Oh, I know what they were doing. They were doing what I would have been doing. Ab if I was her. <laughs> oh, mm. oh my God. Somebody said their favorite celebrity couple of all time was Selena and Chris Perez. Yeah, I'm going to cry. Can you believe that bitch is coming out? No, she can't jail. come out. I'm and putting also, her right back in. You're not getting out for long, bitch. I'm putting her right back in. And then I'm going to go in too. Why does, she have, why does she have a special? Why are you Why talking? are we so obsessed with giving people who killed other people yeah specials yeah can we get a jane goodall special right can we get uh <laughs> can we get a dare i say teffy special, Pessoa special? Yes. i've never exactly. killed anybody exactly i literally i thought yeah. about killing people and look at me yeah i fought the please the urge if you knew i should be i should be facing life yeah she's like you don't know the whole story bitch I do know the whole story. You, what, what you shot the somebody. The story? What is the rest of the story? You're she says that she was trying to kill herself and that Selena got... To, to, to lie to my face is to call me a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How but long she, have you been conjuring up that story? You're supposed to be locked up to like what, learn like 25 shit. years now? Yeah. She was like, hmm. No. Bitch, no. I hate you. No. When is she supposed to get out? I need to make sure I'm available. Next oh, I'm riding out to <laughs> Corpus Christi first. I don't even have a license. On a horse. I'm riding on a horse. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> get the donkey. Get the stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't really? don't no. play with no. me. Don't it's piss me off. Don't piss me off. The way that she used to... I love an I love a eye smiler. The way that she could smile with her eyes. I love an eye smiler, you know? I love yeah. women who, like, laugh with their whole face. Like, I yeah. love, like, a loud laugh. Like, Joel Fualo, I'm like, laugh mm. louder. Love. Laugh True. louder. I was just oh with her last God. night. I love so her laugh. The waiter, she told me that the waiter at the restaurant that we were at came up to her and he was like... And you know how she talked when, when men approach her? Like, when women approach her, she's like, hi. Yeah. And when men do, she's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, or hey. he's like, excuse me. He's, she's like, what? And he's like, you have such a beautiful laugh. And he was like, she's like, all right. Yeah. Now I know you're fucking lying to me. Like, it's so it good. so fucking funny. I fucking love her so like, much. Like, there's another um, content creator that um, we don't make fun of. Oh. That we <laughs> offer constructive criticism to privately. Uh-huh. And her sister was like, I have a crush on him. And we're both like, no, you don't. No. You, you know don't. what I mean? No, you don't. You don't. And there's some dudes online that I see. And I'm just like, you're the kind of person that you feel like you were written by women yeah no that you want to be edited by a woman but you were written by a man and you hate it mm. you know mm -hmm. i have some names for you after no i want you have to drop them i feel you never meet your idols like ever i'm people i've met jason momoa but it's only been like in an interview that's been on camera i never want to meet him privately <laughs> god don't take that from me please Please, 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 please. If he turns out to be a cornball, I can't. I won't. No. I can't eat. No, no, no. I can't sleep. No, no, no. no, no, no. Please keep no, no, far no. away from me. Like no. whenever there's an event that he's at, I'm like, I'm not going. Because people don't understand all your faves in real life. You think you want to meet Usher? <sighs> yes. He would moonwalk into the room before he fucks you. Please. But he's so sweet. He's got such a cute little face. He's got like the cutest little teddy bear face. I just want to cuddle. And I it. want it quiet. Yeah. Don't Unless speak. he's singing. Unless it's singing. Sing and the hits. Nothing yeah. custom. No, 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 no. Let's not think on the spot. No, no, I no. love you. I will always support you. Yes. That's it. Don't talk that's to it. me. If I come into the room, turn around. Yeah. I want to continue loving yeah. you. Oh, Usher and Chili. Why are they still talking about it, though? Well, like, he's with, have you, did you ever watch the show Brotherly Love? Wait. Yes. She's, yeah, she's of course. With, she's with Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. I know. Living her best fucking life on the he's beach. He's obsessed with her. Toes in the sand. She's like, I don't give a fuck about Usher anymore. No, I know. I know, but also like, come on, I would, Chili, I would die. Chili's I would die. So much. I think Usher's so cool and he's so nice and I think he's like an angel and God, he can fucking dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try it all the time. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like this. I'm like, God, he can fucking dance. But and he can sing. And I saw him live. Yeah. In in Vegas. Oh, and it rained insane. Us bucks. I travel with one in I my. I still have mine in my purse. In my luggage. It's yeah, my yeah. good luck. I feel like somebody would open it to rob me and see Ushbox and be like, this is a good person. And close it and be like, I couldn't rob her. You know? But incredible, incredible live. But you know that Chili was cooler than him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew it too. She knew it too. He was just too, he's, his eye. Is he? Because that would explain. Mm. <laughs> Libra men. I don't know what you did. But you did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,000% did that. <laughs> and know. manipulated the shit out of it afterwards. Exactly. Libra men. All men. Oh. Hashtag all men. 
Yeah. There are some good men yeah. out there. They just happen to be, you know, male and gay. <laughs> Or, like, married already. Right, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah, yeah. That's all. About My it. mom is like, don't worry about it. Like, in a few years, everyone's going to start getting divorced, so. Oh, and there'll I was be like, more people available. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, how I swoon. My dream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how I fall. So yes. <laughs> Dreams really do come true, mama. Like, <laughs> Riding in to Corpus Christi on the horse with your new husband, who's recently divorced. He's like, sorry, my attorney's calling me about custody. I'm sick. Got it. Can we pull over? And first of all, if I'm ever someone's second wife, I want you to know I'm going to like her more than you. Oh. If you have kids, like, yeah. if I'm like, Julie told me you were super rude at the pickup. Yeah. What the fuck is your problem, yeah. Craig? He's white. I already made him white. Yeah. <laughs> That's Craig. David. <laughs> Pero que te pasa? Like that. You're gonna pick. You're gonna pick up kids from their mother's house with an attitude. Who do you think you are? She said nothing but be kind to us. Yeah. You know what? I'm drawing up the papers. You're taking my last name. Yeah. I can't. That's it. She needs to be free of you. Tuffy. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> We're gonna be here all night, bitch. I know. That's what I do. That's what I do. This is. But this is mm -hmm. why I knew. Is any of this usable? Yes. <laughs> And admissible in court, 1,000%. Yeah, 1,000%. AI! Uh, it's, you're, you're this honor. isn't even us. This AI is going crazy. Oh my this God. Nuts. I would never speak ill of Usher. <laughs> I Raymond. did not say anything about Common and Serena being in the bathroom at the Venetian. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. It was not Aronis. me. Yeah. I mm. love you. I love you too. I think this is it. We're Beyonce Risings. Yes. Mm. That's why. That's why. Wait, what's your Mercury. <laughs> and yeah and taurus mars yeah i i enjoy mm -hmm. a good debate mm. but I, the rest of me is cancer and capricorn so i like never want to like make you feel terrible i just want to make you feel bad for putting me in that position to hurt you right look what you made me do <laughs> what you made me mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. i'm so happy that i'm this so happy happened. this was like over a year in the making this i know I know. Every like three months, like I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. And then I'm like, I gotta leave. <laughs> yeah. And then you're here. And then this has mm -hmm. been. But this is. Or I see you at an event, and I'm on my way out. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> from afar. But I knew. I knew. You when you know, you know. When you know, you know. When you know, you know. I was like, I like. <laughs> I was actually about to say it, but I don't know if you know this reference. Tell me. It's a Fritz Bernays. No. You don't know it? Wait, a Fritz Bernays you know from Fritz Best Bernays. in Show? Where is that? Bridesmaids. <laughs> fuck, that, fuck, that's fresh. Yes. <laughs> it's a Fritz Bernays. I, every time something just like clicks for me, I'm just like, it's a Fritz it's Bernays. It's a Fritz Bernays, the wedding dress. It's a Fritz Bernays. Yeah. Obviously. It's coming out of me like lava. Even when I'm alone in my house. Even when I'm alone. Out loud. The neighbors in know. My house. The neighbors know. <laughs> Pyro Vivir. In La Casa. <laughs> in Las Escuelas. Y some other shit. Azul. <laughs> yes. Both swats. <laughs> so fucking good. That's my dream. Debbie. That's a great place to leave it. Tell everyone where they can find you. In your dreams. <laughs> no, actually, how dare you? Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't fucking you, come up in here. Don't you Don't fucking summon dare. me in your dreams. I'm on Hello Teffy on all platforms and if you're cute and tall and normal hit me up hit me up where are you on the apps i am on the apps but i don't swipe right anybody because some of them are some of them have really funny bios and i don't want them to see that i take it okay whenever i want to see what a fedora looks like again i check raya and that's just stop the truth of it. neo stop liking me <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> Leave me alone. Stop paying the extra money to Please. DM me. I don't want it. I don't want it. Team Crystal. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Thank you for coming. <sighs> How much of this is going to be like beep? No, beep, beep. all of it's staying. Yeah, all of it's It's going to be a 900 minute episode. $900. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscription. Yeah, we're going to I love it. I love you. I love you. I love you all. I love you all. Bye. <laughs>